Did you guys hear about the retriever who left her puppies in the street? She was fined for littering. The Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever is a medium-sized gun dog bred primarily for hunting. It is often referred to as a toller. It is the smallest of the retrievers, and is often mistaken for a small golden retriever. Tollers are intelligent, eager to please, alert, and energetic. According to the breed standards, the toller is athletic, muscular, compact, medium to heavy boned, balanced and powerful. The chest is deep. Confirmation judges require tollers to be capable of tolling and physical faults that inhibit working ability are heavily penalized. They should be of moderate build a lack of substance or a heavy build are penalized by judges because both detract from the breed standard and athleticism. The legs are sturdy and solid and they have webbed feet. Tollers are the smallest of all the retriever breeds. They range in height from 17 to 21 inches, 43 to 53 centimeters, at the withers, and weigh 30 to 50 pounds, 14 to 23 kilograms, with females being slightly shorter and lighter. Tollers are named for their ability to entice or lure waterfowl within gunshot range, called tolling. The hunter stays hidden in a blind and sends the dog out to romp and play near the water, usually by tossing a ball or stick to be retrieved. The dog's appearance is similar to that of a fox. Its unusual activity and white markings pique the curiosity of ducks and geese, which swim over to investigate. When the birds are close, the hunter calls the dog back to the blind, then rises, putting the birds to flight and allowing themselves a shot. The toller then retrieves any downed birds. They are particularly suited for retrieving in cold water climates because of their water-repellent double coat. Nova Scotia duck tolling retrievers are known to be very intelligent, curious, alert, outgoing, and high-energy dogs. They are affectionate, eager to please, busy, and get along well with children. They are good family dogs, however during the decision process potential owners should be wary of the physical and mental commitment that is required in order to keep a toller busy. Physical stimulation should be provided for these dogs each day since they may become destructive when they are not exercised enough or are left alone for long periods of time. Tollers do not have an aggressive bark. Some have a unique sounding bark known as the toller scream, a high-pitched howl-like sound which is often referred to as their singing. They do not use this in violent situations, rather, the toller scream is expressed when they are excited. The Nova Scotia duck tolling retriever has an average lifespan of 11 to 13 years. The average price of a toller puppy is $2,500. The cost usually ranges from $1,800 to $3,500, but it can go up to $4,000 in the case of purebred puppies. A man was arrested from leaving families of puppies in the street. He was charged with littering. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more bad jokes and general knowledge about dogs.